going to show you how to do the hula hand or the backhand swing headshot. This is a good one to know that even if you're not in a good setup on your animal, you can throw this shot. This is another one that you can really pitch out there. So maybe something that is kind of flighty or a sheep or something like that. This is a good one to learn. So just like the stock head shot, um, we start with the setup. So you can shoot this from a lot of different places. I find that I have a lot of success over on their left side, but honestly, you can use these same principles on either side. So I'm just going to show up from here for right now. So the setup, wherever you want to throw this from, easier on this side. Second is the swing. So this is a backhand swing. So in some regards, this is harder to kind of keep an eye on of what you're doing. Obviously I have this angle, you can throw this flatter. You can come over here and have this swing. A lot of that changes to your setup. So the swing for the most part is just gonna stay at this 45 on this side of my shoulder. That is opposed to that other headshot that we had coming down at the critter. So my aim point where I swing is somewhat at the critter, but mostly on a 45, okay? So we have the setup. Now we have the swing, step number two. And then three, the same way that we did the other headshot. Here is my aiming pepper, the barrel of my gun, the hammer, and the gunpowder. So here we go. I'm going to aim my gun, cock the hammer, which is my elbow. When I'm ready, I'm just going to push my elbow straight at the shoulders. Okay? Do you see that? Now, because this is like a shotgun, even though my hand wasn't perfectly in the right spot, that loop went on there. So I'm going to do that again. And I'm going to show up from another setup point as well. Okay, so this is the backhand or the hula hand. So here's my setup, step number one. Step two is swing. This is more maybe of a shoulder swing than, than the uh, wrist action of maybe on the other side. When I'm ready, I'm just gonna throw my wrist, or my elbow, excuse me, right at the shoulders. Here we go. Okay, so I missed that. That was my, that was me not aiming very well. So I'm gonna show that from another setup. It works really well from this side too, okay? So here's this setup. Here's my swing. I'm aiming at the shoulders once again. And step three, I'm going to deliver and keep my barrel facing my target. So that's a great shot for both sides. Okay, I'm going to show you one last delivery that you can see this from. And that's e either stock side, doesn't matter, but that is putting a coil in it. What that's going to allow this loop to do is stay open the whole time. And this shot especially is a good one to really cast out there. And if you don't put a coil in it, it's going to get small and zip down. So maybe sometimes once you get used to it, practice that. So the same setup, the same swing, and I'm just going to deliver. So I'm going to step back so you can really see how this works. Okay. So I'm ready for it. Now I'm going to deliver my uh, loop by dropping my elbow right at the target. Just like that. Okay. So that is a great shot, just like the stock head shot to learn when you're doctoring, when you're doing anything, those two are some of the most important ones to know. So if you like this video and want to see more videos just like this, please like and subscribe to the Startup Cowboy channel.